Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. I'm having a really good day. I'm getting ready for my next little mini vacation. I just got back from New Orleans about 10 days ago and now I'm going off to Montreal tomorrow. Super excited. I'm going to see some friends I haven't seen in a long time. Um, I am very guilty of not taking vacations because I figure that if I'm not here, my whole world is going to fall apart, <laughs> i.e. my studio is going to fall apart, and um, I was in that habit for a lot of years. My first vacation was actually just last year. So taking two short vacations this year, that's a big step for me and um, a really good one. I know I need this, and um, you all need this. We all need to take vacations, and that's what I'm talking about today, why we need to take vacations. Hey, Aurora, how's it going? Um, so yeah, I mean, I was guilty for a lot of years of not going away and, you know, I had friends who told me you have to take time off, you're going to burn out, it's unhealthy to not take time off, and I was just too stubborn, I was too afraid to leave my baby, the, the studio, my studio is my child, <laughs> I'm bringing up a studio, um, and uh, yeah, I went for about four years without taking vacation, and that's just really not healthy, and um, I thought it was a good thing because I was being responsible and not leaving my studio alone, but really really we need vacations so let's talk about some benefits hey Ryan how's it going hi Alyssa how are you um, so why do we need to take vacations so for one thing um, vacations can help you to be able to calm your mind so uh, some neurologists believe that the neural connections that make you feel calm become weaker when you don't use them regularly so just like a muscle they become weaker so this means that if you don't take a vacation, it'll get harder for you to be able to switch into a relaxation mode. So you need to you need to work those uh, those neurons. You need to figure out how to calm your mind down and be able to relax. Um, so I found that quite interesting. So if you don't use it, you'll lose it, and that makes sense. Hi Lisa, how's it going? So the next one, and I'm going to do this real quick because I got to get back to the studio and teach my last class. <laughs> Um, vacations help reduce the risk of having a heart attack. So I didn't know this, um, but they have found that spending some quality time with friends and family away from work, taking your vacation, can actually reduce the risk of heart of, um, risk of heart attack by as much as 30% in men and as much as 50% in women. So that's huge. That's big. Uh, my boyfriend, who's uh, older than I am, always jokes that I'm going to go before him because I'm going to blow my heart out because <laughs> I tend to go a little bit too hard. So I really need this vacation. It can reduce my risk of having a heart attack by 50%, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> so that's something to think about. Um, and it's true, if you're not taking vacations and you're staying at that really high stress level, that is not good for your heart. So think about that when you're thinking about booking a vacation, especially if you're feeling like maybe you shouldn't be booking a vacation it's for heart health. Um, vacations restore your energy and I think we've all experienced this after returning from a vacation so when you come back from your vacation your energy is high, you're feeling great, you're feeling happy and that sometimes makes it easier to do your work and even makes your work a little more enjoyable. Personally I absolutely love my work, I have no problem coming back to my work but in the past I have had jobs that I hated coming back to but after having some time off you have that kind of renewed sense of energy and happiness that might last for a long time or it might last for your first half day back. <laughs> so depending on your job and how you feel about it. Um, vacations make you happier with your entire life. So if all you ever do is work and you never take breaks, you're going to start to feel like your life sucks because all you're doing is you're working all the time, you're stressed all the time, and it's like getting through that daily grind every single day with no time off. You're just going to be like, okay, life sucks. <laughs> I hate this. So when you schedule on regular vacations and you take control over your free time, and you know you're going to have some free time, uh, most people who do that tend to feel more satisfied with their life overall. So if you're feeling like your life is just too much, you got too much going on, book a vacation. Um, and then the last one, vacations allow you to view the world differently. So it gives you a chance to step out of your regular life, go maybe visit a different culture or just, you know, different area that you've never been to before and you get to see how other people live and that can really open your eyes up to uh, new things, new ideas and kind of make you look at your own life quite a bit differently. So it can be a great way to open your mind and, um, and uh, learn some great things. So very beneficial to go on vacation. Um, so that is really it. Really quick one today because like I said, I do have to get back to work. Hey Steven, how's it going? <laughs> we have to get together soon. Um, hey Ken. So yeah, vacations, 
do it. <laughs> it's healthy. It's good for you. And don't just say, okay, I'm going to try and make time for a vacation soon. Book your vacation, even if it's a year in advance. Book the plane tickets. Get the hotel figured out. You'll save money by booking ahead of time, and you'll be more uh, likely to go on that vacation if you have it booked rather than waiting and getting to a point where you're just like, oh, I'm too busy. I can't go. So good for your health, good for your mind, good for you physically. You've got to take those vacations, and I am taking my next one tomorrow. I'm going to fly off to Montreal for about four days, visit with some girlfriends. It's going to be so much fun. Um, so I won't be coming on live for the next uh, four days, but I will be posting some stuff from Montreal so you guys can see what we're up to. Um, so have a great evening, guys. I will talk to you again real soon, and don't forget to book your vacation.